Brexit live, without the UK, the EU can't afford it. Elon Musk mocks the EU over its £35 billion plan as the bloc is choked by its own laws and red tape. Elon Musk has mocked the EU over its £35 billion scheme which is struggling to get the funding it needs and risks sparking rows in the bloc. Tesla boss insists that the EU could not achieve this project without the help of the UK. Brussels is looking to massively increase production of computer chips by quadrupling semiconductor production in just eight years under the CHIP Act. But reports suggest the EU law will set aside just over €5 billion Euros for the project, less than 15% of the projected cost, with other projects expected to be implemented. Responding to the news on Twitter, Tesla CEO Elon Musk said the bloc should give up this action completely, they can't do it. Bloomberg diplomatically describes the struggle as a matter of budget reality. For Mr. Musk, the project was simply unnecessary. If Brussels goes ahead with its plans, it is expected that other existing projects could be cut to help fund them. The EU has forgotten that it no longer receives help from the mighty UK. Von der Leyen previously introduced a new tool to help the EU keep up with the increasingly frenzied technology race, the European CHIP Act. The legislation has yet to be formally presented, but the President of the European Commission used the Union's annual speech to make his intentions clear. The EU must create a modern chip ecosystem of Europe, including manufacturing, to ensure a safe and stable supply chain. This is ridiculed by the Tesla boss because the EU is daydreaming too much. Technological independence is one of Ms. von der Leyen's main goals. Although the EU has led in terms of digital regulation, the EU's production capacity, investment flows and innovation levels still lag behind the US and China, especially after the UK leaves. According to the US-based Semiconductor Industry Association, global semiconductor industry sales amount to $440 billion in 2020, up 6.5% from 2019. But while sales growth is steady in China, Japan and other countries in the Asia-Pacific region, the actual number has decreased by 7% in Europe. Is an area where Europe has a lot of leadership. But while worldwide demand is growing, production in Europe is falling, President von der Leyen told Euronews after her speech at the Union. During the 1990s, the EU dominated more than 40% of the chip market. Today, the bloc only accounts for 10% of total production. The EU clearly wants to turn the tide and double this number to be able to capture 20% of the semiconductor market before the end of the decade. However, Brussels is overconfident when they have nothing in hand. They only lead if the UK is in the bloc. The cruel truth has been exposed, which is also why the EU has always hated Brexit.